Upon launching mouse mode, a blank user interface will be displayed. Once presets are created, they will be displayed in the preset list area. Information pertaining to a selected preset will be shown in the editor section. General settings for each preset can be found in the bottom right-hand corner of the mouse mode user interface. The plus and minus buttons facilitate the addition and deletion of preset folders. If multiple preset folders exist, a combo box will enable seamless navigation between them. The plus button initiates the creation of a new mouse mode preset within the currently selected preset folder. You can enable or disable mouse mode using the power button located in the top right hand corner of the mouse mode interface. The hide button, also located in the top right hand corner of the mouse mode user interface, allows you to hide mouse mode. While hidden, mouse mode will continue to operate and detect plugins. For Windows users, a third Minimize button is available for minimizing to the taskbar. To begin, create a preset folder, typically named after the audio production software for which the preset is intended. For this demonstration, I'm using Reaper. Note that due to the specifics of mouse mode's window detection algorithm, presets are tailored to individual audio production software. For example, presets designed for Ableton are unlikely to function in Pro Tools. It is crucial to ensure that mouse mode is set to the currently selected folder to properly detect the relevant presets. With the folder in place, you are now prepared to create a plugin preset. Click the Create Preset button located at the bottom of the preset list area. Proceed by following the on-screen instructions to select an appropriate name for your preset. A yellow highlight should appear around the selected window. If it does not appear, it indicates that mouse mode has failed to detect the plugin window. Certain plugins may require specific selection methods. Additionally, you may need to enable certain permission settings for successful detection by mouse mode. For macOS users, ensure permissions for screen recording, accessibility, and files and folders are enabled in the system's privacy and security settings. Click and hold the plugin window as instructed. This process should complete within two seconds. If mouse mode has not configured your chosen plugin window after two seconds, it likely indicates that the necessary permissions have not been granted, as mentioned earlier. After configuring the plugin window, a blank preset will be displayed in the editor section of mouse mode. When selecting the plugin window, a match detection score will appear at the bottom of the mouse mode's user interface. It is essential to ensure that the entire plugin window is visible on your computer's monitor when mapping or configuring. Partially visible plugins will not configure correctly and will result in less accurate match detection scores. You can delete or rename your preset via the context menu. Right-click the item you want to edit, then select either Rename or Delete. The Preset Editor window has multiple functions enabling you to fully customize the control of your chosen plugin. Settings related to your hardware's encoders can be found in the upper window section. Settings related to your hardware's buttons can be found in the lower window section. The status column shows you whether an element of your hardware has been mapped. A C denotes that the element is ready to be configured. M denotes mapped, 
signifying that your hardware element has been mapped to a specific plugin element. The slow slider controls the minimum operating speed of the encoder, while the fast slider determines its maximum speed, allowing you to customize the range of responsiveness. The R column allows for customization of your encoder's speed response while turning. A convex response leads to more pronounced parameter changes at slow turning speeds, decreasing the rate of change significantly as the speed of turning increases. A linear response ensures that changes in the parameter are consistently proportional to the turning speed, offering a predictable and steady adjustment experience. A concave response leads to minimal parameter changes at slow turning speeds, increasing the rate of change significantly as the speed of turning increases. The function column sets the specific action your encoder or button performs when either turned or pushed. For encoders, you have eight options. Linear will perform a click and hold, followed by either an upward or downward motion, similar to how you would control the plugin element yourself. Linear reverse performs the same actions with reverse directions. Circular will perform a click and hold, followed by either a left or right motion. This is used for older plugins, which require circular control of their encoders. Circular Reverse performs the same actions with reverse directions. Scroll version 1 is a precise scroll by pixel and will respond to the speed and response curves you have set. Scroll version 1 Reverse performs the same actions with reverse directions. Scroll version 2 is a basic scroll by Delta and is affected by your scroll wheel sensitivity set in your operating system. Scroll version 2. Reverse performs the same actions with reverse directions. It's essential to understand that not all functions will work with every plugin. All plugins will behave differently and mouse mode's function options are available for you to find the control option best suited for the plugin you have chosen. For buttons, you have three options. Single click will perform a single click and release on the mapped element. Double click will perform a double click with release on the mapped element. The default click setting triggers a standard click sequence involving both the keyboard and mouse. In most audio production software, executing a single click while holding a key modifier typically resets a specific plugin or software element. This functionality is also applicable to your rock-solid audio hardware. To map a plugin parameter to your rock-solid audio device, follow these steps. Click the Configure button next to the encoder or button you wish to map. Follow the on-screen instructions, click and hold on the plugin parameter you want to map. For best mapping results, position the mouse at the center of the parameter while configuring. A yellow highlight should appear around the selected window. If it does not appear, it indicates that mouse mode has failed to detect the plugin window. Certain plugins may require specific selection methods. Additionally, you may need to enable certain permission settings for successful detection by mouse mode. For macOS users, Ensure permissions for screen recording, accessibility, and files and folders are enabled in the system's privacy and security settings. Click and hold the plugin parameter as instructed. This process should complete within two seconds. If mouse mode has not configured your chosen plugin parameter after two seconds, it likely indicates that the necessary permissions have not been granted as mentioned earlier. Once mapped, the Configure button will change to display an M, indicating that the element is now mapped. 
Finally, select the function type you wish to use. We recommend starting with scroll version 1 for encoders. Once mapped, you can edit all the extra settings for each element of your controller, exactly how you want. You can reset your mapped plugin parameter via the right-click context menu. Each preset features its own preset settings section, allowing you to customize broader global settings. The all slow slider will adjust the slow speed for all encoders simultaneously. The all fast slider will adjust the fast speed for all encoders simultaneously. The all response button selects the value of all response settings within your preset. You also have the capability to modify the functions of all encoders and buttons at once via the all encoders and all buttons combo boxes. The default key combo box is part of the default click functionality. This section allows you to designate the key modifier that mouse mode will utilize for the default click button function. The Fine Key combo box is an element of the Fine Key functionality. This feature lets you decide whether to enable the Fine Adjust modifier of your audio production software at reduced encoder turning speeds. If you want to use this modifier, then select the appropriate Fine Key modifier for your chosen plugin from the drop down menu. The Fine At setting determines the speed at which the Fine Adjust modifier is enabled and disabled. The default value is set at 30% of the maximum turning speed. At any speed slower than this threshold, the fine adjust will be enabled. Above this speed, it will be disabled. It's important to note that the fine adjust modifier only functions with linear or circular encoder modes. When using multiple screens with mouse mode, ensure that both your monitors have identical color profiles. If the profiles differ, mouse mode will only recognize the window configuration on the monitor where it was initially set up. Also, mouse mode's detection algorithm cannot identify changes in your plugin window's size. For instance, if you configure your plugin at a UI size of 100% and later adjust the UI to a smaller or larger size, mouse mode may still recognize your plugin. However, the map positions will be inaccurate. If you use the same plugin at different sizes, create separate mappings for each size. <laughs>